personal finance PowerPoint presentation, trading hours, prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Most of this information can be found at Investopedia trading hours for the world's major stock exchanges, which you can find online. Take a look at the references, resources, continue your research from there. This by Mitchell Grant updated April 29th, 2022. In prior presentations, we've been looking at investment goals, investment strategies, investment tools. We've been thinking about different kinds of investments that we may be putting our money into major categories, typically being stocks and bonds for example as well as other savings accounts cds and so on and so forth we're now focusing in on the stock side of things so when we're thinking about stocks we're thinking about purchasing an ownership interest an equity interest in other words in a corporation typically we're going to do so from an exchange remember from the corporation side of things uh, they could be a smaller corporation that is not publicly traded, not on an exchange, for example. But if they want to raise more capital by selling stocks and possibly issuing bonds, then they might try to get onto an exchange. Part of that process will typically be coinciding with the regulations, rules of the exchanges, those rules being designed to facilitate trade more easily, possibly having things like representation of their financial statements in a certain way shape and form for easy comparison of investors in an attempt to increase transparency increase information increase trust so that people can uh, make tr make trades on the exchanges so typically when we're thinking about investing in stocks we're thinking about investing in an ownership equity interest of a corporation and we're usually doing so with those corporations that are on the exchanges so now we got to think about well how do these exchanges work and what are the hours of the exchanges so a stock market exchange is by definition a marketplace where stocks can be bought and sold for certain hours throughout the day it functions as an entity that ensures orderly trading and efficient uh, dissemination of price quotes for the companies that list on the exchange so they're going to be facilitating kind of like the middleman or the environment in which the exchange can be in essence facilitated between the investor and the seller of the stock so trading is generally conducted from monday through friday so usually we got the normal work days on the trading uh the saudi stock exchange is an exception to the rule as it is open from sunday to thursday a small number of exchanges close for a lunch break so obviously they might be taking the hour lunch break depending on the exchange although as we're getting more mod automated over time you would think that that might uh, go by the wayside more likely more and more this is most commonly seen in asians marketplaces the london stock exchange and the frankfurt stock exchanges have a two minute break at uh, noon daily that's not a very long lunch right there two minutes really two minutes all right so for an american investor access to any of the international markets and exchanges requires an account with a brokerage online or off trading hours on holidays holidays depend on the local calendar so they are different for every location so clearly when we're talking about different exchanges throughout the world it will be dependent in part on the kind of holidays that are in that particular location the new york stock exchange closes on july 4th for independence day the singapore stock exchange closes in early february for the chinese new year some exchanges close for half day uh, from time to time for example the new york stock exchange the nyse uh, open only until 1 p.m on christmas eve the exchanges post their annual calendars well in advance so you should have a good idea of what's happening in the and before things are happening so trading hours on north american exchanges trading in north america is generally based on the eastern time zone no matter where the exchange is located the exception is the mexico stock exchange which posts its hours in central time but adjusts its hours to match those of the new york stock exchange so once again trading in north america is generally based on the eastern time zone no matter where the exchange is located so the headquarters of the trading exchanges are in new york city toronto and mexico city so notice when you're thinking about these different kinds of exchanges oftentimes depending on no matter where you live in the country 
uh, then you, you have some people that are facilitating trades and so on that have to kind of suit their hours to the hours basically of the exchanges for example the westernmost time zone is mexico city with the mexican stock exchange the bmv trading within business hours of the central standard time the cst however even though the bmv trades on cst the hours mirror those of the nyse so all things considered trade is open during the same time frame so we've got then our table here of just some of the you know major exchanges here so we've got the new york stock exchange the nyse that's the marketplace new york stock new york united states the ranking number one time zone eastern time zone trading hours 9 30 a.m to 4 p.m lunch break no lunch break for the new york stock exchange the nasdaq stock exchange new york united states ranking two it's the eastern uh, time zone and it goes from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. as well as no lunch break there. Toronto Stock Exchange, uh, Toronto, Canada, ranking at number 10 Eastern uh, Time Zone. It's 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. No lunch break there. Trading hours in Asia and the Mideast. There are 11 time zones across Asia and its immediate neighbors, but fortunately, they synchronize their exchange hours for the sake of trade and liquidity now again all this stuff we probably take a lot of this stuff basically for granted but the capacity and ability to synchronize to some degree obviously makes things uh easier for trading to take place in essence so some asian markets including the shanghai stock exchange the sse and the tokyo stock exchange the tyo take a break for lunch so we've got some more tables of the exchanges so you could take a look at the hours there as well trading hours in the uk and europe europe like asia has many individual exchanges the largest stock exchange organization in europe is the euronext a pan-european exchange that operates in seven countries and has its headquarters in amsterdam so again here's another table i won't go through the full table of it but you can take a look at that table as well so what is the difference between a stock exchange and the stock market we often hear these two terms stock exchange stock market what's the difference a stock exchange is a marketplace or infrastructure that facilitates equity trading the exchange is founded and managed by a corporation private or public it allows companies to list their stocks in its marketplace the term stock market refers more generally so it's kind of a more of a broad term to all stocks or to a group of stocks in a particular region industry or sector so which major stock exchanges are closed during lunch that's what i want to know which of these stock exchanges have lunch break so the major stock exchanges with an official lunch close are the uh, shanghai stock exchange the sse the tokyo stock exchange the tyo the shenzhen stock exchange the szse and the stock exchange of hong kong the sehk the London Stock Exchange, the S, uh, the LSE, and the Frankfurt Stock Exchange have a two-minute break at noon. And you might be thinking, man, that's not even two minutes. You can't even get tea, you know, by that time. But their traders don't eat that fast. The mini break is designed to protect uh, institutional traders from high-frequency traders who split-second transactions can skew prices. So it's more of a technical type of thing in order to stop, basically, abuse of the of the markets to some degree so what times are the nyse and nasdaq open the new york stock exchange the nyse and the nasdaq are usually open at the same hours 9 30 a.m to 4 p.m so if you're basically doing a lot of trading then no matter where you are oftentimes people have to line up then <laughs> to what the, when the trading happens so both publish annual calendars for their holidays and half days in 2022 that the nyse the new york stock exchange has nine full holidays and four early closing days the nasdaq has the same holidays but seem to have fewer half days